movement break today. We've got a lot of movements that we're going to go through, not just stretches. So grab a mat or a soft surface and we'll go ahead and get going. And we will start down on the ground for push ups. As I said, starting down on the ground for push ups, modify down on the knees. If you just want a little bit of movement, but not a full workout today, then just stay down on those knees. Otherwise, you can push yourself up the intensity a little bit and come up onto those toes. But we've got push ups in three, two, one. Begin. Lead with that chest down to the ground. Power up. Push the ground away from you. Really target those shoulders. Chest muscles are triceps, so the back of the upper arm. Breathe through it. Don't hold your breath. Fifteen seconds left. Last five, three. Two, one, we are going to move into a low plank. So this is gonna be down on our forearms. I want you to do your best to not have to bring those hands together. I want those hands, those forearms to be shoulder width apart. Here we go in three, two, one, begin. You can modify a plank by being down on those knees as well in that quadruped position. Or you can come up onto those toes, drop that butt down and hold that position. Whenever you need a break, drop the knees. And then pick it right back up. Breathe through it. Pull that core in nice and tight. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. We're going to push off into down dog and we're gonna do some ankle pumps. So just moving those feet, bending one knee at a time. We'll go in five, three, two, curl those toes under, tailbone up to the sky and ankle pumps. So one knee bent, one leg straight. Push the ground away. Try to get that one heel down to the ground while you're bending the other. Focus on your breathing. Keep sending that tailbone up to the sky. Keep pushing the ground away with those palms. If you want to, you can also just hold. You don't have to do the ankle pumps. Last five, three, two, one. Drop it down, let's flip it over. We are going to go into a marching glute bridge. So back flat on the ground. We're gonna get those glutes, those hips up off the ground and we're gonna drive one knee into the chest, return and then switch. Ready and begin. If this bothers you for any reason, then I just want you to hold a glute break, okay? Press those heels into the ground, squeeze those glutes, get those hips up, because as time goes on, even when we're marching, we slowly get closer to the ground and we don't even realize it. This isn't a running, this is just a nice march. Knee comes up in towards the chest, Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one. Next up, we have sit-ups, little core today. If you haven't taken a class previous with, previously with me, I am pregnant, so I will not be doing sit-ups, but your full sit-up, use that core, curl all the way up and then lower yourself down. I'll be modifying. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, breathe through it. A lot of movements that we're doing today, people tend to hold their breath for. We don't want that, right? Breathe through it. Exhale as you go for that full sit up and then inhale on your way down. 
Don't use those arms to propel yourself up either. Use that core. Last five, three, two, one. Flip it over. We're going to go into child's pose. So we're going to end with a nice stretch. Extended child's pose. So toes together, knees apart. Reaching straight up ahead and pushing our glutes to those heels. Ready? Begin. Relax your forehead to the ground. Press those palms into the ground as you keep reaching straight ahead. That's what's going to stretch our shoulders, your upper back. And then push those hips, push the butt back to those heels. And relax your diaphragm, relax your breathing. Just fall into the ground. Nice stretch. Just use it, enjoy it, relax. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Bring it back up. And we go all the way back up to the start. Back to push ups. One more time through everything. Only 30 seconds each one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push ups. Halfway. Push the ground away. Last three, two, one. And get yourself set up and situated for our low plank. Down on those forearms, no hands together, shoulder width apart, right? We're going five. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice steady inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Keep that booty down, nice flat back. Four. Three, two, one, great job. Let's push off into our down dog with our ankle pups, or you can hold completely up to you in three, two, one, curl toes under, tail on up to the sky. Push the ground away. Last 10. Three, two, one. Drop it down, flip it over. Marching glute bridge. Or again, if that bothered you, hold glute bridge. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes. Again, this is all you have to do if you don't want to do the march. Otherwise, knee up and down. Keep bringing them up. You're almost there. Last five. Three, two, one, here we go, right into our sit-ups. Again, I'm um, modifying, but you start with your back flat. Sit yourself up, don't propel up with those arms, all four. Four, three, two, one, here we go. Focus on your breathing. Job halfway. Then we'll end with everyone's favorite child's pose. Three, two, 
one, flip it over. This time, toes and knees both apart. Last time we had toes together, knees apart. Both apart for me, okay? Four, three, two, one. Here we go. 30 second child's pose. Fall into your mat, into the floor. Keep reaching them straight up ahead of you. Keep pushing those hips back. Sit back on those, towards those heels. Last five. Three, two, one. Slowly push yourself up and have a good rest of your day.